we are told that this sequence is geometric and they give us a whole lot of X's and they say determine X. Well, the trick that we do with for a geometric is we say T2 over T1 equals to T3 over T2. If you remember when we did the arithmetic one in question seven, because it was arithmetic, we rather said something like this. Okay, but when it's geometric, we rather say this. Do you know why? Well, let me show you. If we have a simple geometric pattern like 4, 12, 36, where I'm multiplying by 3. If I take term 2 divided by term 1, that'll give me 12 divided by 4, which is 3. If I say term 3 divided by term 2, that would be 36 divided by 12, which is 3. Can you see that it car carries on producing a 3? So the ratio stays constant. So for any geometric pattern, you can say this. Now all you do is you go fill everything in. So term 2 is x plus 2. Term 1 is x minus 2. Term 3 is 4x plus 2. And term 2 is x plus 2. What you now do is cross multiplication. So on the left, you're going to have x plus 2 and x plus 2. And on the right, you're going to have 4x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now we're just going to multiply everything out. I'm just going to do this fairly quickly because you guys should be f comfortable with minus 6x minus 4. I'm going to take everything to the right hand side because I would like to have a positive x squared just because I find that more comfortable. You don't have to do it that way. And so this is what you should end up with eventually. Now you can try factorize this if you would like. I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. And once you use the quadratic formula, you should end up with x equals to 4 or x equals to negative 2 thirds.